so now in abacus we are going to see the different places okay always in abacus start from the second white dot so there is first white dot leave this and go to the second white dot so this rod is the ones place rod this is the ones place rod ones place and this is the tens place and this is hundreds place and this is thousands ten thousands one lakh ten lakh one crore and it goes on so this is the ones rod the second white dot always start from the second white dot so this is the ones place rod tens place rod this is the hundreds place rod thousands place a rod okay now when there are no beads in the beam when there are no beads touching the beam beam it means that the value is equal to 0 the value is equal to 0 so if always use the thumb finger and the four finger for moving the beads in the abacus thumb finger always should move the lower beads and the forefinger should move the upper bits. Now let us know, let us read the different values from say from 0 to 9. How to read 0 to 9 in abacus. So when there are already as I have told, when there are no beams in abacus, when there are no beads present in the beam, it means that the value is equal to 0. The value is equal to 0. Now I am pushing one bead to the beam. Now I am placing only one bead that touches the beam. It means that the value is 1. One lower bead to the beam. So now I want to add one more lower bead to the beam. So now the value is equal to 2. Now I am pushing one more lower bead to the beam. So now if you count it is 1, 2, 3. So now the value is equal to 3. So now still one more bead is there in the lower beam. So just push it up. So now there are 4 lower beads touching the beam. So which means the value is equal to 4. So in one's place. The value of the lower beads are 1 for each. 1 for each. So suppose if you need to add 2, you need to push 2 lower beads to the beam. So now let us see what are the values for the upper beads. Values for the upper beads are always multiples of 5. Values of the upper beam, beads are always multiples of 5. Which means in one's place rod, the value of the upper bead is 5. In tens place it is 50. In hundreds place it is 500. In thousands place it is 5000. So they are always multiple of 5. 5, 50, 500, 5000, 50,000 and it continues. So now let us take the ones place rod. So now if I place one upper bead to the beam it means the value is 5 the value is 5 one upper bead to the beam the value is 5 now along with this 5 i am going to place one more lower bead to the beam now if you add the value the value is 5 plus 1 which means it is 6 5 plus 1 which is equal to so now in the ones place rod you can place the values from 0 to 9. So let me show it again. If there are no beads present on the beam it means that the value is 0. If one lower bead is present in the beam the value is 1. If two beads are present the value is 2. If three beads are present the value is 3. If four beads are present the value is 4. And if one bead from upper bead is present in the beam the value is 5 along with the upper bead one lower bead is added the value is 6 
along with 6 now we are adding one more lower bead the value is 7 along with that we are adding one more bead the value is 8 and along with that we are adding one more bead which means the value is 9. So the ones place rod is used to represent the values from 0 to 9. Ones place rod is always used to represent the values from 0 to 9. So in our next video let us see how to use the tens and hundreds place. Thank you.